warning, this is not the anime Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> if you have clicked on this video expecting free anime, it's not that. Go to Crunchyroll or find it illegally on one of the many other <laughs> websites. This yeah, there's is... an infinite number. Of... Who goes to YouTube to find their anime anyway? People in 2005, me in 2005, looking up <laughs> Naruto episode 37, <laughs> one of three. That is the specific people who are looking up YouTube uh, anime. Not anymore. So anyway, full disclosure, just so you know, you can get off of it now. And now the music intro can start and so can the uh, episode. Hello everyone, and welcome to Shonen Archive. I'm Woki, and I'm here with Zenrut. Hello, hello. Uh, what's Shonen Archive? I'm glad you asked. Shonen Archive is a series in which me and Zen uh, dedicate our entire well-beings to eventually watching every single Shonen Jump anime slash... Not anime slash manga, that'd be impossible. And <laughs> anime media related things, meaning the animes and the live actions and stuff like that. Not if I had started including manga and visual novels, and we were just we're just never finishing. That's that's asking us to watch a lot more than what we originally signed up for. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our main big series is of course Gintama, also watching Kuroko's Basketball and Jujutsu Kaisen as it's going on right now. Unable to talk about the other two. Because we just were too busy, crazy with work. But thank God, Jujutsu Kaisen is only going out one episode at a time. Yeah, thank Christ, dude. I had three trainings in a row today. Jesus Christ, yeah. And my and my three working... straight hours. <laughs> and I have my own issues with work that I can't talk about either. <laughs> and so <laughs> all I'll say is, please end the actor strike. <laughs> I'm, I'm begging you. That or start watching a lot more of my YouTube content so I can make YouTube buddies and not worry about anything. <laughs> <laughs> that would actually be the other the other end for it. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to be talking about today is uh, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 34, which is called Pandemonium, which is not a panda-centered episode. A panda is barely in this no, episode. Unfortunately, unfortunately, <laughs> no, yeah. but That would uh, be a really good name for a pan- panda hyphen. Monium? Yeah, would be a it really would good be. name for a panda episode. Yeah, unfortunately, does no panda does do something in Shibuya? I remember. Yeah, he shows up. Yeah, but it's not like when he fought Mechamaru, <laughs> where he gets his own. Oh no, he doesn't dig. like Jotaro on anybody like that. No, no, and. Yeah, he doesn't. And if we talk anything more about Panda, that's talking about manga stuff, which I'm not dolphin <laughs> noising this. So let's go yeah, right into sure. ep- let's go right into episode 34. Zen, tell us what happens in Pandemonium. So, uh, Mechamaru uh, has like a little robo drone of himself because he thought he might die. So he he sends it around and uh, it like like latches onto Yuji's ear to talk to him. And there's a, a pretty good bit where Yuji like rips it off and spikes it into the floor. <laughs> uh, and then Mechamaru goes back on his head. He's like, "Listen, I'm trying to help you." Um, that's how they find out that Gojo was sealed away. Um, he's like sitting there talking to uh, Kenjaku, and then uh, he's like, "Oh, it's me, Ghetto." And Gojo's like, "The fuck it is! You're not Ghetto." I, the, and so then uh, he reveals the brain that he has the brain head uh, that he's actually Kenjaku, who is a brain with teeth. Um, Ghetto's hand starts choking his own body. After Gojo is like, "Are you really gonna let the brain with teeth tell you what to do?" <laughs> uh, so he's like, he kind of awakens a little bit there from that. Uh, eventually, they the prison room closes around them, um, or it closes around Gojo, and then uh, everyone else is like, "There's no way that Gojo's been sealed. He's Gojo. He's just that good." Um, Mechamaru's like, "Listen, man." But shit's real bad right now. Um, we don't want any other moles to get in here. We need to. There's curse users going over to, to fight y'all. Now that Gojo's been sealed, you need to get the fuck out of there. Everything's bad. Um, Meimei is like, I don't really want to do that. I want to go look and see if Gojo's actually sealed. Um, 
but she ends up. I think Yuji convinces her to stay and just kind of help. Um, we see Geto holding the prison realm, and all of a sudden, it like falls out of his hand and smashes onto the floor. And he's like, "What the fuck is this?" And then the the prison realm's eyes are like crying, <laughs> like weeping, <laughs> trying to hold Gojo in. Um, Gojo's like, "Ah oh, man, I messed up, but it's cool. I I have faith that everyone will be fine." And it's like, "It's not fine, Gojo. <laughs> it's not. It's so not fine." Whatever. Um, no issues are going to be coming from here. And they it's got so it. It's so not fine, dude. It's so fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I have to bleep that out, don't I? You hit the dolphin noise again. God damn it, fine. <laughs> <laughs> So, he's also chilling with skeletons too, which I don't remember yeah, why. He's just this... vibing with skeletons, yeah. Yeah. Um, all the teams are told to get in there and and fight now. So there's like a bunch of different guys that are are going in. There's the the Zenin guys. The Nanami has like a team, and Kusakabe has a team of like different sorcerers that go in with them. Um. They end up going through, like, the curtain in there. And then <coughs> there's a curse user whose name I don't remember, who is uh, the guy, he's from the arc where um, where they attack the school. He's the, got the weirdo with the sword that has a hand that he holds the hand. Oh, um, yeah, this guess. The guy who Gojo breaks free and he's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, that guy. He's in there and um, they're like, all right, you need to go kill the people outside the curtain. Like, they're basically planning like a counterattack to that. Um, they're planning Ghetto's a counterattack. Like, right, what are we going to do? What are we going to do now that the humans are attacking us? And Chos was like, I want to get revenge for my brothers that Yuji killed. Uh, Jogo says no, because he's Sukuna's vessel and we can't we can't um, can't kill him. <clears throat> and so they end up, I think Mahito's like alright, so what, how about we do this? If I or Choso find him, we're going to kill him. If you find him, you can give him the, the Sukuna fingers. It's fine. Um, and Jogo's like, Str- strategically, we should like wait. And Mahito's like, no. <laughs> and he just fucks off. Um... These two little girls, who, if you'd seen Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, you know who they are. Um, I did not, but I've seen that clip of him calling people monkeys. So I, yes, I, I remembered, there. oh, it's them. Yeah. It's the little, yeah. <laughs> the little girlfriends. It's, it's the little racists, yeah. Yes. Um, <clears throat> they're there, and they're like, we want Ghetto's body back. Uh, and he basically like said that he would, and he was like, nah, <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> it should have made a pact. should have made a binding vow, and you didn't, yeah. idiots. Dumbass. Uh, <laughs> fucking Moron. idiots. Yeah. Get wrecked. Fuck off. They do. <laughs> yeah, they do fuck off. Um, Yuji is up on the roof screaming Nanami's name over and over again just into the fucking city. Uh, and Megami like hits him to make him stop screaming. They start uh, making a plan together. Nanami goes off to kind of do, like, big boy stuff on his own, and he tells his, like, his sidekick guy that he's leaving Megami and Yuji with him. Um, now he watch over Megami. He has, that, a, like, he, he has to care very carefully watch over Megami. He's warned him. He has this <laughs> issue where he seems to want to kill himself the second he wants of- to kill himself really bad so don't let him do that <laughs> whatever you do uh, make sure he does not try and kill himself <laughs> they uh he starts explaining that like if if we don't save him people are gonna start fighting because he's not there as like a balancing force um and then like because they're all fighting each other like infighting to to make up for the influence that's gone uh evil people are gonna start attacking too and it's just gonna be a, a shit show um they all decide that they're going to move out and that they're going to rescue Gojo and you get like a big shot of all of them uh, going to, to go save him. Mm-hmm. That's where the episode ends for now. 
And then, oh, actually, no, there's a little bit later where there's an old lady <clears throat> talking to what looks like a super buffed up version of Mario. <laughs> Uh, that will be, that will play into the next episode, but they talk about Gojo being sealed, and they talk about, like, hey, he's sealed. It's like, oh, that's alright. We'll figure out something. And then I think at the end, they mention, the very end, they mention, they say, I think they say, oh, I actually don't want to, just to be sure, I'm not, I'm not gonna say it, because it is next episode, but they, they say someone's name. And that was like, oh, okay, something's happening next episode. Uh... And yeah, that's this episode. Zen, how do you feel in this post-seal world episode? Uh, This one's kind of a lot of like a setup episode, Mm -hmm. sort of. Like, oh, the big thing happened, and now we're getting all the pieces into place for the next big thing. Um, But it's good. It's a good episode. Yeah. I like the, the creepy brain reveal. I don't think the creepy brain reveal was as good in the anime as it was in the manga. It just didn't look quite as... It's gross and freaky, but uh, yeah, it was definitely more freaky in the manga. It does, I mean, that helps it when it's in black and white. I feel like a lot of Jujutsu Kaisen looks a lot creepier in manga form because it also you yeah. can feel like kind of the rough drawings of the dude who's drawing it himself. It's like a very like rough art style that I think apparently some people think is bad, but I think that's just literally his his art style. But no accounting for from taste for some people. But yeah, the the brain reveal. What else do you feel? Uh, I mean, all in all, it's fine. Um, we're in, we're in for some good fights, but nothing super exciting happens here. It's just kind of it's kind of like a set the stakes chapter. Like, oh god, mm. <laughs> everything so, has suddenly gone from a guaranteed our win to really bad. Something big has happened, and uh, we should properly address it <laughs> and uh-huh. deal with uh, the fact that some <laughs> shit is now going to be changing now that Gojo's now sealed. <laughs> And they, I think they actually convey it very well, where they're like, yeah, no, this, we're fucked. This is uh, unbelievable. It's never been more over than it is now. <laughs> it's so Jover. It's so Jover. That's basically what, Donovan may as well just said, it's so Jover, than the episode Yeah, Donovan walked away and just, dude, brother, we are so by done. We are, no, out of here. We're gone. <laughs> Uh, there's a really good part in this where <laughs> when the when the prison seal breaks, uh, like when it drops down and uh, Kajaku's looking at it like, oh, you son of a bitch, <laughs> and he's unable to move it because it's still like dealing with the fact that it has um, it still has him inside it. And then when they talk back to it, uh, I think they cut back to Nanami and Yuji is like, how come he's fighting it back? And then his answer is because it's Gojo. <laughs> that is. <laughs> It's like how 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 is this able to be happened? Well, because it's him. He's like very yeah, close. It's to... this yeah, and it's like oh okay, no that makes sense. And it's the best way that you can explain something like this, where it's just like oh yeah yeah no nah, no worry. How is he able to fight back against this? How is he able to just chill with the skeletons and be okay? Yeah, it's him. What do you expect from him? He is him. What do you want? (laughs) What do you want from me? This guy just, like, froze a bunch of people and killed a fuck ton of things in 2.9 seconds. He can do whatever the hell he wants. And there you go. Um, But yeah, like you said, there's a lot of setup. They've, uh... I like the kind of argument they have between them where they're, like, saying, like, Hey, we really need, um... I really want to kill Yuji. I think it'd be really awesome if we could kill him. And then uh, Jogo is like, no, wait. Our entire plot is like, yo, if we can get Sukuna and then he comes out, that basically get, just guarantees we win. And then, he's, and then the other one that he comes, Ma- Mahito comes in, he's like, you know what? I'm kind of on the kill Yuji train as well. <laughs> I'm kind of. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny because they're arguing, and Mahito's like, I also would like to kill Yuji. <laughs> like, yeah. he's just joining in. He is. He just comes in very good. You know, like, I've given it some thought. We'll go here. He's like, well, we need Sukuna. He's like, eh, but do we need Sukuna? Yeah. <laughs> do we necessarily need Sukuna? Do we even really need him? Which is just a hilarious way of just being like, hey, you know, now that uh, he's sealed up, do we really need him? It's fine. And then I think that when he's asked, he's like, what do you what do you feel about this, uh, Kajaku? He's like, uh, you know, I have to watch over the realm, so whatever. He was my backup plan, so I think we're fine. <laughs> which which really goes into the idea of, like, wait a minute, what 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 was all your plan here for? <laughs> if this yeah. failed, 
then I guess break him out. But it worked out. But now you have to deal with him as well because it doesn't seem like if once he gets out, he's gonna be all buddy buddy with his ideas. <laughs> Seems like he would immediately be like, ah, you know what, I think I'm the king here now, and now I'm just gonna indiscriminately kill all everything in my all path. All of everybody? Yeah. yeah. All everybody all at once. <laughs> my new movie where I just go around <laughs> fucking working absolutely everyone. Everybody, everywhere, all the time. Yes. You ever play yeah. Super Smash Brothers Melee, that part where you had to fight like 50 dudes at once? That's what he's gonna do. <laughs> Just line them up and go like, all right, let's do this. <laughs> so it does bring into a little bit of questions. It's like, I'm not 100% sure what your your thought process in a lot of this is, but okay, sure. Uh, so yeah, I like that decision where they're just like, let, let's have a game here. And we're gonna, whoever can find him, if we find him, we kill him. If you find him, you give him the fingers, and we get Sukuna. It's, it's a very easy solution. And then Jogo's like, what a dumb game. I just have to st- sit here. He's going to be coming here because Gojo's over here. I'm just going to stand here, and I win the game. And then he's like, all right, let's go. And then they immediately go <laughs> ready to go looking for him. It's so funny when Mahito just bounces. He does. He bounces. He's like, all right, let's go. And he's like, wait a minute. And then he just follows right afterwards, completely back, going back on everything he just said, saying, like, if I just wait here, I win. He's like, nope, I'm going um great stuff there i really do end up liking it's really weird because a lot of the time when actually my when hamahito is fighting i don't like him but when he's just actually chilling with the other chris spirits i like him a lot more <laughs> when he's just allowed yeah, to... is like funny when because with the cursed spirits he's like a troll instead of the worst thing ever yeah exactly exactly he's just being like a, a weird troll dude and he and that's perfectly fine like even his response when he heard that their homie died last episode was just like, "Are you wait really?" And it was it was a case of like, "Wait what? What do you mean they're dead? That's crazy!" <laughs> Whoa, that's wild. <laughs> that's wild. I would never have thought that. Like n- at no point does he think that he's losing. So the idea that they have suffered any form of loss is kind of like ah. That's weird. <laughs> I didn't actually think that would happen. I thought we just all yeah, he's like that's yeah, that, that's unusual. Yeah, very the very childlike actually. Um, I like them continuing to shit on the grasshopper curse when they say like I think Meme yeah, asks is like his enemy's coming way stronger than that guy. Yeah, and then Meme is like hmm, and that thing could talk, so that would mean that that thing's actually very strong. And now I'm feeling just a little bit uh, you know. <laughs> now I'm starting to be very curious about what's going on here, as opposed to previously where she just had her hair over her head and was like, am I getting paid for this? Which she still asked, which I thought was really funny when she asked Mekamaru, has your bank account been frozen? <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. There's also a really funny shot of her where she's asking, like, how can we trust you? And her fucking hair is completely covering her entire face, where it's just like pure hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, I also like, again, the moments when Yuji's out there. He's like, oh, you know what? Nanami's out there. I know how to get his attention. And then his great big plan is just to shout Nanami's name and then Gojo's... Yeah, Nanami over and over again. And then say, Gojo's sealed, not realizing if he had just been screaming Gojo's sealed from the beginning. Because that's how the other teams learn about it, is him yelling Gojo's sealed. <laughs> Uh, it's really good stuff. Um, I like it when Ghetto's body starts fighting back, and he's, like, actually, like, um, he starts choking him. Even though I think the anime puts a little bit more emphasis on it compared to the manga, where the manga, it's just, like, he puts his hand around his, yeah, yeah, but then he's, like, immediately laughing, like, saying, like, yeah, look at this, isn't this funny? Hey, Mido, check this out. Remember how you talked about the soul body? Look at this. Same thing. What do you think? What's your thoughts on this? What is this? <laughs> He's like getting choked out. What's your theory? Yeah. Let me hear your theory about it. He's like, maybe it just works different for our two techniques. I don't know. He's like, ah, oh, you know what? That's probably it. That's really funny. You know, let's go with that. The soul of this body is still here somewhere in there. Let's go. And then he immediately like gets it away from it. Um, I don't remember the box crying when it had gojo inside it but yeah it's it. like it, when it first crashes on the ground and they're like what the fuck uh the box is like it's got like sad anime eyes and it's crying yeah 
<laughs> Which it looks very similar to his eyes right before he gets closed. Um, which is pretty nice. Uh, I also like that brief moment where he's like, hey, could you just seal me already? This is getting very boring. <laughs> You've already won. It's like, I've enough of this. Yeah. Yeah. Put me in there. Put, let me chill with the skeletons for a bit and I'll be back. Just a time for tea, but everything is obviously solved the second I'm put away, <laughs> and they come get me. But yeah, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of build up for what's going, and off, obviously because you know after it was, it's been revealed that a lot of these uh, voice actors are method. The Gojo voice actor was in fact put next to a bunch of skeletons inside a tiny prison realm to accurately portray <laughs> how it sounds like when you get trapped inside a prison realm. <laughs> so just big time big time from them all and yeah it's a it's a it's an obvious setup episode and uh i can't wait to see what happens next because i already know what's happening next if the the bad times just keep on rolling baby <laughs> yes more stuff yep everything worse <laughs> yeah if, if you're expecting it to be some good times anytime soon i got bad news yes that's what i've always liked that's what i always like about the shibuya arc is that it starts with the worst thing happening and then it just progressively gets worse <laughs> yeah it starts out with like oh man how is it gonna get worse than this and then you're like up oh, it it's gonna it yep yeah, it it get it gets worse and we've already seen some with with the dude with our dude that we've been following this entire time getting randomly just fucking stabbed to death <laughs> outside. <laughs> we can already see that the some of some people have already died from characters we knew previously. Actually, no, is he still okay after the stabbing? I assume that guy did not let immediately... I don't know how many times that realistically a person can be stabbed in the stomach <laughs> before they just say, you I know mean, what I've done. Kaisen, so he may be... Probably, he might be okay. You know, he's still okay. okay. He's still good. <laughs> he maybe he missed <laughs> all the... heal ones. in this show. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. So maybe he'll be okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll wait till to see the by the end of Shibuya how he's doing. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, but yeah, a uh, very fine episode. Can't wait for more. And that is it for episode 34. Uh, very quick episode today. Because, of course, it's only one. It's weird to be like, I don't know how d- dudes do this <laughs> on the regular. Not yeah, having. I know. It, feel, it feels weird to be just like, okay, I guess, yeah, I guess we're done now. But yeah, we're done. Shonen Archive is done for today. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can check out zen over on his channel where he does shonen and chill um covering all the current not all current because he's not doing one piece because he hasn't caught up yet but current and i don't think you're reading every single he's he's covering the important the important one if you want to know more about kagurabachi or whatever the the hell the name of the crazy samurai man oh, is, yeah. <laughs> go to zen and if you also want to hear what's going on <laughs> in Jujutsu Kaisen manga, also go to Zen. <laughs> he doesn't dolphin noise himself there. I have to do it here. <laughs> no, there's keep... no dolphin noising. Or you, you, you just get what you get. Yeah, 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 exactly. You better be prepared. I can't believe, we're going to talk about this because I think it's so funny, that the, mo- the how bad the leaks have gotten for Jujutsu Kaisen, that... The leaker got leaked before the leaks could happen. Yeah, and, and they said, he got, he got out and they said, please don't share leaks. Yeah, he said, please don't spoil people. I'm going to hide the, the leaks. I'm gonna hide the comments in my. I'm like, dude, the emperor has no clothes. You can't be, man. <laughs> you can't. Be, that's you. <laughs> it, it was. Oh, it was it's so funny. It, 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 honestly speaking, Leak Night for Jujutsu Kaisen has become a non-stop comedy show <laughs> at this point. It has been... Yeah, it, it's funny because the chapters are silly and bad, and then also this guy is silly and bad. Yeah. So it's it, like... It is a... a oh, show, dude. It, yeah, it is just a perfect storm, and it is something else to experience. But I I almost died laughing when I, saw, when I read that, when he said, please don't spoil, I'm going to hide it. I'm like, that is insane if i was not caring for people potentially seeing spoilers because i started talking to someone from jujutsu guys then i would immediately be like what are you doing <laughs> what do you mean that's insane you can't be acting like this it's so funny it'd be like if someone was uh 
actually, there's just nothing like it. It really is a, a moment of just like, Emperor has no clothes here, man. But yeah, it's amazing. And if you want to follow up on that, you can always go to Shonen and Chill. And if you want more me stuff, uh, thankfully, pretty soon the 13 Nights of Halloween are going to be rolling out there soon. So I have to figure out what spooky game I can play with Zen. Since, unfortunately, I've tried so hard to see if there was anything. The closest we get to, like, a horror Shonen Jump is the Sensei one, which, unfortunately, the anime never got translated over here, as far as I can tell. The Hell Teacher uh, Nube. Oh yeah, yeah. We uh, could do we could do a silly one that has we could do like Hikaru no Go because it has ghosts. <laughs> oh, that w- <laughs> actually, that would be really funny. Hikaru no Go would yeah. be a hilarious one. The scariest manga. Unfortunately, Kawa was never translated into <laughs> an anime. The Kira Toriyama hit classic Kawa. <laughs> or we we could do a uh, Yu Gi Oh season zero where he's actually like murdering people. Oh. Oh, that would be sick. I would actually love to talk about season two. <laughs> All season right. zero is crazy. Look over for that. We'll figure it out for one of the times for 13 Nights where uh, we'll talk about season zero Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, but yeah, I got a bunch of stuff planned. I've, uh, uh, work has obviously been uh, giving me the stress, but there's at least enough people where I'm like, I can reliably say at the last minute you'll be able to say, hey, let's do it. Spoot already, thank God, messaged me on Discord saying, so what game we playing this year? I'm like, oh my God, dude, I'm so glad that you started this conversation <laughs> as opposed to me. <laughs> let's talk about it. <laughs> let's go. Because it is really hard to uh, get any number of guests anything <laughs> to find out if they have even time for it and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And we'll I'm look we'll look forward to next week's episode, which I'm sure will continue the good times in Shibuya. <laughs> and hopefully by next week we'll be able to get back into uh, talking about Gintama and also finally talk about the live action One Piece. Let's all hope. But that's it for today, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. As always, uh, thanks a bunch for watching. You can always comment and say whatever and also leave a like. That helps a whole bunch. And we'll see you guys in the next uh, video. Say goodbye, Zen. Goodbye, everybody. Peace.